everybody has their own story about how they got into their sport, but I, I think yours is quite <laughs> unique and it's become well, sort of that I, of I legend. I know where right? you're going with this one. It, huh? it, uh, came from doing something that you yeah, don't want right. kids to do, but I'll, I'll yeah, let you tell you, the story. You know story, what, and, 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 I, and I tell kids this all the time, uh, do not play hooky. And I was playing hooky one day and the principal walked up behind me, he scared me, and he noticed that I could run fast. And the thing in Mississippi, uh, the way you got disciplined, uh, you know, so I got whipped a little bit. You know, he, uh, he had this, uh, this strap that he would, uh, would punish uh, uh, students with and stuff like that. So after he gave me maybe eight lashes or something like that, he wanted me to go out for the football team. And when I went out, you know, I, I, I noticed you know, that I was not the most gifted athlete out there, but I, um, I had some talent, and I just felt if I really worked at it, you know, I could get better. Mississippi Valley State University, interestingly, you received other scholarship offers. You also had interest from Notre Dame, USC. Yet explain why you chose Mississippi Valley State University. I think a handshake is more important than anything. Uh, you know, I received so many letters and so many schools saying, hey, look, you know, we want you to come here. But Mississippi Valley sent out a coach uh, to talk to me and uh, we had a chance to sit down. I had a chance to look him straight in his eye and shake his hand. And he said, we are gonna do something special at Mississippi Valley State University. We're gonna throw the ball, we're gonna line up in a no huddle and the ball is gonna be in the air. Mississippi State was right up the road uh, from Crawford, Mississippi in Starkville, Mississippi but they were running the wishbone at that time. And I just felt like that was not a, a good place for me to go because they didn't throw the ball that, they didn't throw the ball that much. Uh, Jackson State uh, was the option, but it was just something about when I, when I sat in front of this coach and had the opportunity to shake his hand and I wanted to be part of uh, the Delta Devils and I went to uh, Mississippi Valley State. And to give this some context to people unfamiliar with the college football landscape, explain the significance of Mississippi Valley State's football pro program relative to that of other big D1 schools. <laughs> well, Mississippi Valley State University. Let me, let me see how I can describe that program. Uh, you have to work for everything. You didn't have access to so many uh, pair of pants, pair of shoes. It's a big deal when you got new sweatpants yeah, there. Yes, yes, it was a big deal. Uh, the weight room was okay, but it was not like any of those major schools. Uh, I would have to wash my uh, practice uniform every night because uh, you know, I felt like as a receiver you had to uh, represent yourself a certain way. So I washed my uniform every night and and at these major schools, uh, you know, once those guys practice and they get done with everything, then they have people to do that for them. So I had to work for everything at Mississippi Valley State. And, uh, but w one thing that we did do, we threw the ball 90% of the time. And, and I felt like we could get so much attention from all the, the other schools and, and uh, the major uh, programs in the NFL. And, we went out because we put up outstanding numbers and everybody, they were like, what is happening at this small, but I mean, predominant black school in Mississippi? And I think that put us on the map because we ran that no huddle and we threw the ball, uh, you know, so many times.